Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you wanna cook. On today's video, we are making this South African delicacy marvel pudding. Stay tuned. Let's get started guys and as usual I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. Now in my bowl I have half a cup of brown sugar. You can also use white sugar it's an optional. And then I have three tablespoons of softened margarine. I just popped it in the microwave just a bit so that it can become soft. And then I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of my apricot jam. Then you want to proceed and cream together the sugar, the butter and the jam using a hand mixer or a whisk, whisk and until just combined and creamy. Once everything is combined, I'm going to go ahead and add two eggs and adding one egg at a time. Once the eggs are all incorporated, then you want to go ahead and sift together one and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking soda, as well as two teaspoons of baking powder. Then you're just going to mix that into the butter mix until well incorporated. Once you've mixed all the dry ingredients into the batter, you're going to go ahead and add about half a cup of milk. Precisely, you want to go and add 160 ml of milk, but half a cup would do as well. Then you want just to go ahead and mix that in until it is a very smooth and pouring batter. That is the consistency that you're looking for and then I'm going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of vanilla essence. Now at this point you, you can choose any other flavor that you want to add into your batter. You can go for a lemon, um, orange essence, you can go for almond, whatever flavor that you want into your dessert. Just go ahead and use it. Then you want to go ahead and mix that in and then I'm going to proceed with adding one teaspoon of vinegar. Now here I was using a half a teaspoon measure so that's why I added two so that they can be one teaspoon. Then you're just going to mix that in and we are done with making our batter for the 
Malva Pudding Sponge. We're going to go ahead and proceed to um, add it into our baking dish that I already prepared with some non-stick spray. And we're going to bake in the, in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes to an hour. Now once you've poured out your batter into your baking dish, just make sure that you flatten it out and even it out so that it can bake evenly and make sure to tap it on the counter about three times to distribute the bubbles and so that they can come to the surface of the batter. Now once you have about five minutes remaining of the sponge to become cooked through just go in ahead and make the sauce in my bowl i have three tablespoons of my margarine that i'm adding one bag of rebos tea and i also added some orange peels that is optional but i want that flavor i'm also gonna add half a cup of milk and i'm also gonna add half a cup of sugar now the orange zest or the orange peels are optional you can also substitute that with lemon peels if you want that lemony flavor but i swear this just gives it a whole other beautiful flavor along with the ray boss it's gonna be so delicious now this sauce you're gonna pour it over the cake or the the malva sponge and it's going to give your sponge such a moist flavor oh honey oh honey i'm excited already so just bring it to us to a gentle simmer on low heat please don't burn it so if you don't want to use milk you can also substitute milk for cream if you want it to be a little bit more creamier and delicate but i do not have cream so i used milk instead now this is our sponge once it's out of the oven it's nice and golden brown you want to go ahead and poke some holes into the sponge you can use um a skewer or a fork like me and this basically ensures that when you pour over the sauce it's gonna seep through the cake and it's gonna make it moist all throughout because if you don't do this then the sauce will just distribute on the sides and on the center it won't have that much sauce so go ahead and make those holes and put over your sauce and you want to go ahead and let it rest on the counter until it is cool and completely absorbed now you want to go ahead and add your sauce whilst your sponge is very very hot so that it's easier for the syrup to be soaked in once it's cooled the syrup will just seep through the sides and it wouldn't really be soaked into the sponge so go ahead and let it cool down and then you can cut into it <laughs> i'm excited guys then after it cools down Go ahead and cut it as you can see it's very soft guys it's very 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 soft as usual we serve it with some custard ultra mel the best if you want to go ahead and make some homemade custard as well that is something you can do that's it guys i hope you try the recipe please give this video a thumbs up comment down below and show me some love and i'll show you back some love subscribe if you haven't already and join the family for more recipes i'll see you on the next 